Good evening, good evening. Hola, hola. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, welcome back. We are so close to finish this module, so I need that all of you participate. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, let's come on.
Okay, here we go. I got 14 people now. Well, thank you to be here with me. This is the previous day, now to finish. We are going to finish tomorrow. So today we are going to continue talking about different topics that are going to help you to increase your skills. First of all, uh, well, I'm going to introduce my topic and later on I'm going to uh, check up the attendance. Okay, hold, hold on a second, please. Let me do something here. Okay. Okay, let's start now. I'm going to share with you my presentation. Okay, today we are going to talk about how to use get and go. This is uh, class number 19. And we are going to start talking about our topic. Welcome to all of you. Okay, let us start talking about num activity number one. And the first question, say, can you name five minutes transportation? Let us start with the first question. I, I need that all of you participate in this activity. So if you want to do it, just raise your hand and let me know. Only five means of transportation I need. Okay, teacher. 
Okay, go ahead, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. My answer. Hello. Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. Bus, 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 car, um, train, motorcycle, airplane. And maybe um, ambulance, teacher. Okay. What else? Thank you. Someone else? Me, teacher. Uh, airplane, bus, car, boat, and train. El, el de barco no sé si está muy bien boat o cómo sería la pronunciación boat es, es bote could be ship ship oh, okay thank you okay somebody hey, I have ship airplane bus car and bicycle okay Thank you. Somebody else? Hey, teacher. Go ahead, please. Uh, train, plane, bus, car, and ship. Okay. Someone else? Someone else? We have a different. Me, teacher. Means of transportation. Okay, go ahead, lady. Car, taxi, helicopter. Bus, helicopter. Okay. Helicopter. Helicopter. Bus, plane. Okay. What else? What else? What else do we have there? We must have Anybody else? No? Me teacher. Motorcycle or taxi, bus, ship, motorcycle, car. Oh, okay. If we classify it uh, in land, air, water, what can you tell me about? Teacher, uh, could you put again the the question, please? Yeah, if we screen. if you are able to classify according to the the area they move. For example, we have some uh, that we can use in air. We have another one that uh, we use it uh, in water. The water ship. What else do we have there? Yes, on the sea, on the sea, um, 
in the air, helicopter, and plane. In the land, bus, car, motorcycle. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Teacher, how do you say paracaídas in English? English. Okay, parachute. Okay, I'm going to share a, an activity in order that you can solve it. Hold on a second, I got it here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, double click, please, and, and resolve.
Okay, this activity is just uh, in order that you remember all the main of transportation. I finished, okay. teacher. I finished, teacher. Okay. Who wants to guess? Who wants to guess? Where is another bicycle? Tell me. The field. Okay, let us do it. Let, let us do it together. What about this one? Okay, where, where I can find the another bicycle? Tell me. Where do you think it is? Number four, teacher. Number four? Right here? Yes. The next one. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Number, number. Number 10. Where is another taxi? Tell me. Number 10. On foot. Which one? Which one? Number, Number five, teacher. Number seven. Five, teacher. Okay, hold on. Let me try five. Oh my God. Let, let me see. Somebody said five. Okay, let me see. No. Let me try this. Okay, where I can find the the another plane? Number six. <laughs> No. No, teacher, this was five. Six is. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I click. Yes, is, yes, I, I, I is click five. this one. I click ah, this okay. One. Okay. I already did. Now let us, let us find out the, where is the, the another bicycle. Number one. Or number two. Which one do you consider is the right one? You say number, number one. one. Okay, bingo, number bingo, one. bingo, bingo. Where I can find another one? Tell me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten.
Tell me, tell me, tell me, hurry up. Number 10. Number 10. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Number 9. Number 9. Number 7. Number, give me a number, give me a number, please. What was that, Twelve, teacher. Number? Twelve. Ten? Do you say ten? Twelve. Yes, teacher. No, helicopter, helicopter. Where is the fourteen? Truck? Number fourteen. Um, this one. Yes. No. Oh, plane, plane. Number? Number? Number five? Five, teacher? No. Easy, easy, easy. Remember, nine. 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 Remember nine. this is a memory game. Nine. Nine. Nine, teacher. Okay, on full. Meaning in Spanish? A pie. A pie, cabal. Perfect. Okay, Sawai. Where can find another Sawai? Number eight, eight, seven, one. No. No. Two and five. Easy, easy, easy. Five and nine, teacher. Number? Eight. Okay, bingo, bingo, bingo. Where we can find one. Number? One? Number one. Bingo. My goodness. Uh huh. I got it. I got it. Truck. Number three, teacher. Number three. You are the winner. Okay, let me see. I'm going to click this one. Number, number, number. One, two, three, four, or no, uh, five. Number five, teacher. This one. No, helicopter. Easy. Number six. Thank you. Teacher. Helicopter. Easy, 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 easy. Number two. Two, two. Number two, and the most difficult one is this. Number two. 
okay, we already talked about means of transportation. So let's go back to my presentation. That first of all, uh, well, I'm going to show you my my presentation, but at the same time, I need to check up the the attendance too. Okay, we have another question there. It says, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi when you travel and why? Prepare your answer. I'm going to check up the attendance. America Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, is there Carlos Amilcar? Present. Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Gisela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Héctor Enrique. Present teacher. Ingrid Geraldina. Present. Eh, Jonathan Stanley. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Alemán. It's not here. Catherine Paola Jovel. Present teacher. Okay, Kendi Natalia Sánchez. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Mercedes Alejandra. Roxana Álvarez Chávez. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara Alejandra. Present Sergio. teacher. Ok, Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Janet del Carmen. Present teacher. And Yesenia Liseta Aguilera. Okay, just saying it's not here. Well, let us continue with the second question. Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi when you travel? And why? Teacher. Hello. Eh, no sé si me mencionó, pero se me estaba cortando la, la llamada. Hold on a second. Mercedes. Mercedes Alejandra, sí. Sí. Yes, I call you. And Yesenia Lisset is not there? No. Oh, okay, let us continue with the second question. Do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi when you travel, and why? Just tell me. Or maybe uh, we can include uh, Uber if you want. I don't know if you like to travel using that kind of service. Just let me know. Just tell me. Somebody can say, in my case, I prefer travel uh, yeah. taxi because it's faster and well, I don't know. Hey, teacher. Okay, tell us. In my case, I prefer uh, to drive. Drive because, yourself. Yes, because for me it's more commodity. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Me, teacher. Okay, sir. I prefer to drive. Okay. Because it is relaxing and I like to listen to rock music when I travel, teacher. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay, nice. Me, teacher. Okay, Gabriela. I prefer in mot motorcycle. Okay. Because I vomit in on the bus. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> so, what are, 
Oh, there is um. I prefer so my my brother drive. Okay. Yes. But can you can you drive a motorcycle? A little teacher. A, a little bit. A little bit. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Someone else. Yeah. I prefer to go in by bus because I can sleep on the way. Ah, I got it. I got your point. That means you can rest a little bit. Okay. What about the rest of the class? This is the previous, uh, in order to finish this module. So I need that all of you participate on it. Teacher, in my car, in my in my case, I prefer to drive because it's more comfortable and safe for me. It's more comfortable, okay, and safe too. But, but by the way, uh, oh, the cars are maybe some branches are kind of expensive, no? No matter if the gasoline is going up. I don't know what kind what kind of car do you prefer also to travel? Maybe a compact car. Talking about uh, Toyota Corolla, a Nissan. I don't know, maybe you prefer something different like a Nissan Rogue or maybe a Honda or maybe a Rad Force or a Toyota. Which one do you prefer? The one that drives? Nissan Frontier, teacher. Nissan Frontier, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, for me, teacher, uh, for the price, I prefer Kia, but I would like to have Audi. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I, I prefer Kia for... for I, I, I got your point. I got your point. Yeah. Okay, what else? Someone else, someone else. Let us express your opinion. In my case, I prefer yes, Toyota, different uh, kind of car, but I trust in Toyota, you know, because, well, um, I had the chance to to buy all, all, all the equipment. Uh, original, genuine. So, the car keeps uh, more time uh, in good condition. That is what I think, but all depends. In my case, teacher, I prefer Toyota too. Okay. I have a, a, a Matrix, a Matrix. A Toyota Matrix, uh -huh. and, but I like a lot, I like uh, the motorcycle, but I don't have, but I like, drive a motorcycle but it's dangerous right now it's really dangerous to drive a motorcycle but i i drive i drove a lot of years in I, motorcycle i I, yes. did, I did too i i i, I was in motorcycle for 14 years me me, me too um two no 10 or 12 years i drove Motorcycle. Okay, motorcycles. Well, right here in the Sabado is kind of difficult to have a, a good one, but in abroad you can buy a BMW and it's not uh, so expensive. Yes. Uh, here in El Sabado is really expensive. Yes, I, I am feel very free when I drive motor, motorcycle. I got your point, sir. But right now, it's dangerous, you know. 
a lot of scar on the streets and we need to drive in a safe way in order to keep life going. So it's better if you have a car that you drive the car is safe, you know. Okay, let us continue with activity number two, means of transportation. Find the 10 means of transportation from the back in the word search. And we got train, car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter, taxi, bicycle, and ship. Okay. Okay, I don't know if, if you are able to... Mo motorcycle teacher. To check it right here, I don't, I don't know if you are able to... Ship, I, I, in, the I, first, I, in the first line, say ship teacher. Okay, ah, okay, you got it there. Yeah, yeah, the that is line. that I need that you do it. In okay. the second line, train. Which one? In the, the last line. Okay, just just uh, put the red color there. Okay. Okay, let us do it. Let us do it. Motorcycle teacher. Taxi teacher in the in the last column. Taxi, bus, somebody can uh, mark taxi too, plane, okay. The last column. Yeah, taxi right here. Yeah, we got it right here. You're talking about this, right? We missed two, we missed two. Which one? Starway? And? Where is helicopter? Teacher, in, in bus is subway because bus is not is subway. Okay. Es que bus no aparece. Yeah, yeah, it's not there. Okay, we can mark until here. Okay, what else? That's it? Okay, let me stop sharing. And let us do this one. Here we go. Okay, let us do this one right now, please. you have to do is just to take this point and you are going to put it right here 
there's going to be the way how we are going to do it. Did you finish? Finish the chair. Okay. Finish the chair. Finish. Okay, perfect. Which one is Mason here? Oh, the train. Which one is missing? Only this one, like about. I think I don't consider this one like about. Okay, you got some ideas about the means of some presentation. So uh, let me continue with my presentation. Okay, uh, let us continue with uh, this conversation. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice asking for directions to places. Speaker A says, excuse me, how can I get to the airport? A speaker B says, well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Ah, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, questions about. Ask question if you have. I am going to read again. 
Okay, uh, say, excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, question. Questions? No questions? No, no question, teacher. Okay, uh, take a screenshot, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, five minutes is enough. Okay, here we go. Let us practice. Please accept my invitation.
parte de que eh, Aguaspan. Okay, welcome back. Let us practice. Who wants to start? But... Ingrid? Uh, sí, pero no sé con cuál de los dos me va a tocar. <laughs> okay, you can choose. <laughs> ah, okay. It's just up to you. Go ahead. Vaya, primero con Héctor. Okay. Empieza usted, Héctor. Okay. Excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive. But I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Someone else? With me, sir. <laughs> ¿Me empiezo yo? Ok. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a, rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. With my partner, Roxana. <laughs> Hola. Okay, I'm going to start. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. thank you. Me, teacher. Go ahead, sir. Uh, candy. Okay, okay. I'm going to start, Candy. Okay. Um, excuse me, how can I get to April? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by board. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay. Okay, next someone else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Edwin. With Janet. 
Ok. Ok. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? So it's two blood over the string you can go. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Y teacher, el par de Carlos Amilcar. Okay. Okay, please start, Jose. Okay, excuse me. How can I get to the airport? Well, uh, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I am going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rent near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Good job. Somebody else wants to do it? Somebody's missing? Anybody else wants to do it? Anybody, anybody else wants to continue? No? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, lady. With my partner, Hector. Okay. Nice. You're first? Mm, you, you first. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Excuse me. How can I get to the iPod? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Huh. I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us continue then if you, if anyone else wants to continue. Okay, remember uh, asking for directions to places. And one way that we can use in order to ask for direction is how can I get to, and you put the, the, the name of the place right here. How can I get to the movie theater? How can I get to uh, the pharmacy here? How can I get to the bank and so on? And also uh, we can use go in order to explain the way that somebody can use to travel. So uh, let us continue then. Uh, and this is a pair word, right? The name of three different places around your company. And teacher asking how you can get to those places. Okay. 
Right now, you just fill this chart and later on we are going to get together in a breakout room in order to work. Okay, remember, write the name of three different places around your company. And then you are going to take to asking how to can get, how you can get to those places. Right here is gonna be the place. And the second one means of transportation. And the third one is going to be the question. And the fourth one is going to be the answer. Okay, go ahead, do it now, please. Finish the share. Okay.
What about the rest of the class? Did you finish? Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us continue. Okay, let us see if you can work together and ask and answer the question that you got there and later on you are going to share the information. Here we go.
Okay, let us see who wants to share the information with the class. Okay, we got the info there. Just let me see. Okay, you are going to mention the person, the name of the person, the one uh, work with you, and you are going to mention the place, the means of transportation, and the question. So let us start doing now, please. Me teacher. Okay, Edwin. And the first, I, uh, the place, a pharmacy or drugstore is correct. Yes, it's the same. Okay, it's the same. A place, pharmacy, means of transportation, car. Question, can I go to the pharmacy by car? And the answer is, yes, you can. The second, uh, mark, place market, means of transportation, motorcycle. Question, can I go to the market by motorcycle? The answer is, yes, you can. And the third place, university. Means of transportation, ship. Question, can I go to the university by ship? The answer, no, you can't. Okay, means, means of transportation, means. Means, means, okay. Means thank of you. transportation. Okay, thank you. Someone else wants to do it? Somebody else wants to do it? Me, teacher. Okay, good. Go ahead. The place is supermarket. Okay, like medium of transport, bus. Can I go on bus to the supermarket? Um, The second, Jim, um, the means of transportation is a motorcycle. motorcycle. And the repeat motorcycle. 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 Um, the question can I get? Uh, can I get a better help when when I go to the gym? And the the last um, the place is school. The means of tra transportation is on foot. And the question is. Can I go on foot to the school? La respuesta no la he dado, teacher. No, la primera respuesta. Okay. La problem. primera respuesta. Yes, I go on bus every Sunday. Every Sunday. The second. Uh, yes, I get a better help. And the last. No. Uh, sometimes I go on bus to the school. Okay, thank you. Next one, please. Next. Anybody else wants to do?
No? Me, teacher. Oh, okay, Sergio, Sergio. Go ahead, Sergio. Uh, Permita. Okay, and the... In the place, Cuscotlan Stadium, uh, means, means of transportation, transportation bus. Uh, question, can I go to Cuscotlan Stadium by bus? Uh, answer, yes, you can go to Cuscotlan Stadium on bus. On bus. Uh, number two, uh, Torre City, City, City Tower. A means of transportation taxi. A can a, a question can I go to City Tower on taxi by taxi? A, yes, you can answer. In number three, a place EPA, a means of transportation on foot. Uh, question, question, can I go to EPA on foot? Uh, answer, yes, you can. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let us continue. Thank you very much. Okay, asking for a direction expression. For example, uh, you can say, is there uh, a bank around here? You can use the word bank. It's up to you if you want to use another one. Uh, how can I get to? And then you are going to mention the play. Where is the, where's the supermarket? Where is the gas station? How far is the, the museum from, here, use polite expression like, excuse me, or can you tell me to ask for directions? Okay, based on these questions, you are going to create a conversation and you are going to share it with the class. So I invite you to uh, take on a screenshot because you are going to use it. And I am going to create the uh, the couple that are going to work together. If you have any questions so far, please just let me know, please. Don't forget that you are going to use the word, excuse me, or can you tell me? in order to ask for directions. But let us see what else we can have. Okay, uh, if you are going to give directions, these are the expressions that you are going to use. For example, somebody can say, go to the corner of, and then you to left and whatever. To left, to right, past the corner, Go straight ahead on, and you can mention the name of the street here or even the avenue. Or you can say until you get to, and you can mention a, a specific point right here. It's between, and, and you can mention one place here and the another one right here. It is across front or in front of. It's up to you. Which one do you want to? use. I don't know if you have any question from this expression. Just tell me.
No questions? Okay, let us continue. Continue. Uh, we call it this word transition, uh, and we are going to use this word to connect the ideas. Transition are used to connect ideas. For example, you can say after, you can say that, then, next. When you get to the corner, go uh, straight ahead and, and, and so on. You can continue un until finish right here. And finally, you are going to be there in front of the place where you are looking for. These are transition. We call them that way, transition. Uh, we use it in order to uh, describe a step by a step a process. Usamos las transiciones para describir eh, paso a paso un proceso. Okay, what else? Well, and I got an example here said, excuse me, how can I get to the hospital? Go straight ahead on King's Avenue and turn left when you get to River Street. Pass the gym and the post office. Uh, the hospital is between the school and the church across from the hotel. Yeah, quite easy, you know? Any questions so far from here? No? Not to chair. Okay. Very good. And we have a map here where you can practice. And how can I get to? Uh, what we can do is just to put a, uh, a specific point where you are going to be, and then you can ask someone else. Let me try to put an X. Uh, where we are going to start. Imagine that you are going to be, well, hold on a second. Imagine that you're going to be here. You are here. Okay, one of you is going to be here and someone else is going to choose one place and the one that is gonna be here is going to describe all the process in order to reach to that place. So, um, let me ask the volunteer who wants to do it first in order to be sure that you can describe or even give directions. Okay, who wants to do it first? Just one volunteer I need. Who wants to do it? My goodness, I'm still waiting for somebody else. But I can't believe it. This is the almost the last class, and you don't want to participate. My goodness, it's uh, who wants to do it? The teacher, okay. Oh, and you, you are in the in uh, right here, you are right here, okay. My question is, if I am here, in my case, if I am here, how can I get to the jewelry store? Just tell me, how can I get to the jewelry store? Jewelry store is in, in on the Hill Avenue, is next to the Italian restaurant, and is uh next to the woman's wear too okay but but what about if i am here and i need to drive how can you explain me uh, uh what a street or avenue i need to take in order to reach that place 
Okay, you can go to the main street and turn right. How many blocks it, I need to move? In the second block, uh, turn right over the Hill Avenue. Oh, okay, don't forget the number of blocks. Don't forget the number of blocks. Okay. Okay, someone else. Someone else wants to try? Who wants to try? Hello. Hello. Hey, teacher. Okay, Sergio. Sergio, if you are here, if, 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 if let me see, and, and you need to go to the uh, Spartan Good, how can you get there? Okay. Uh, Spartan Goods. Go, go straight ahead, O Street, and um and turn left turn right perdón uh, go straight ahead on o, o street uh, next turn right uh, go straight ahead until first avenue Turn left two blocks. Okay, and something else that you can add about the sparking goods. I can say, for example, the sparking good is next to the women's wears. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, somebody, somebody else wants to do it. Me, teacher. Okay, let me see. You in your case, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be kind of easy because uh, if you are here. And you need to go to the Italian restaurant. Could you tell me how can you get there? Okay. Go straight ahead in Oak in Oak Street until Pine Street. Uh, Pine, Pine Street. Pine Street. Okay. Yes. Turn right. Then on Main Street, turn left. Uh, one block until Hill Avenue. Uh, Italian restaurant is around the corner in Hill Avenue and Main Street. Okay. And also you can add uh, a from the toy store. Uh, well, different ways. Okay, thank you. Some, someone else, someone else wants to do it. Let us try to do it. Who wants to try? Hello. Okay, anybody else wants to do it? Okay, don't forget that if you don't practice, you don't develop your skills. That is really important to do it. And what about if I got a map like this, like a Google Maps? Uh, well, we can look for different places right here. We are talking about San Salvador. 
And also we got the 25 Avenue uh, North right here. This is the Alameda Juan Pablo second. And we can look for different places right here. For example, let me see. Oh well, I got I got I got it here. Imagine that you are right here at the end of the Alameda Juan Pablo Segundo. And I need to ask you how to get to the Parque Gusta Club. How can you, you explain me that? Let us see who wants to do it. How can I reach to Parque Gusta Club, for example? Or maybe, uh, how can I get to Metro Centro San Salvador? Just tell me, how can I do it? Take a look at the map. And don't forget that you are here, right here in Alameda Juan Pablo Segundo. Hello. Are you good? Uh, are you good reading maps or not? Just tell me. Hola, hola, hola. Nos confundimos en el mapa o no? Hello. My goodness, I'm alone. Something happened here. I don't know what is happening here. Okay, let me try to see if they are there, connected. No ideas? Uh, teacher? Hello, sir? What is the name of this street? The name of? This street, of that street, sorry. This one? Yes. Let, uh, let me see. I don't remember. I, I got in my, in my, in the tip of my tongue, but I don't got the name. Maybe someone else can give a hand with the name of that street. Yeah, uh, you are looking for the name in order to get to Metro Center, right? Yes. Ah, okay. But let us try with Parque Curcatlán. Maybe it's gonna be easier. Or if you don't, uh, if we don't name, uh, if we don't know the name, well, we can just say that we are going to turn right. Uh, Let me see the name of this street. Teacher. Hello. Here is more difficult because there are more blocks. Yep. And we need to have the name of all the street maybe. And like the one that we got here, for example, we got the name of the avenues. And also the name of the street, for example, 11 Calle, you know, Oriente. But in this case, we, we don't we don't got the name right here. But at least try to talk about general information in order to get addresses or directions. Okay, don't worry about. It. Well, let, let us let us. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to stop sharing.
Okay, let me see. Because of the time that I got here, I need to talk about get and also about go. That is the main point that we got here. Okay, hold on a second. Let me show you this and later on we can continue talking about the map. Okay, I need to give some ideas about this. For example, how can we get uh, use, how can we use get? For example, we combine with different expressions like get a job, get angry, get shocked, get divorced, get drunk, get home, get lost, get married, get nowhere, get permission, get frightened, get pregnant, get ready, get the study, get the, uh, and you can continue adding information, get the message, uh, get upset, and get wet. All these equations you are going to use it with get. If I ask you to create one sentence with one expression as this, let me see how many people, I got 20 people here, that means that I can give one expression to each one of you. I got only 18. How can you use it in a conversation or maybe in a, in a sentence? Are you able to use it? Okay, let me show that. Uh, let me show one example. As soon as I finish, I want to get home in order to rest a little bit. Okay, that way you are going to use it. Do you got the message? Yes. No. I get permission to work on home. Oh, okay. Okay, someone else wants to do it? Hello? Choose the one that you prefer and 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 create a sentence, please. If you don't want to get lost, you can use Google Map or Waze at the moment that you are going to drive in a place where you don't know exactly. Ah, okay. Give me another example, please. Hello, hello. Tell me. I'm waiting example. Give me example, please. Me teacher. I I get upset when I don't when I don't have money. Ah, okay. You get upset when you don't got money. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Someone else, someone else. Hurry up, please. I get the permission. I get permission to go at Cuscatlan Stadium. Stadium. Okay, and in that case, maybe it could be in the in the simple part. I got the permission. I got the permission. 
Okay, an example okay. would be if you get married, if you get married, you need to be careful to get friends because you need to spend at least one year or two with that person. That is the way that the American think. For that reason, uh, they can be married, but after two years, they are going to uh, get babies, you know? But not before, because if something is not working the proper way, they are going to split out. Okay, another another example. Someone else, please. Are, are you still there? Okay, give me another example. Me, please. teacher. Okay, me, uh, teacher. Jonathan, Jonathan. I I understand. Uh, okay. I get divorced because my wife is angry. Okay, I got divorced. I got divorced. I got divorced. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got divorced the last month because my wife got angry with me. Okay. Okay. Only for that reason, you you you. you <laughs> <laughs> ah okay. Oh, okay, someone else wants to wants to participate? Hey, teacher. Go ahead, sir. I get started to learn English to learn English. Or oh, I I got started. I gotta start. I gotta start. I gotta start it to learn English. Okay, thank you. Talking about the simple past uh, tense. Okay, because of the time, let's move a little bit forward because we need to see also go. Okay, how we can use go, go abroad, go astray, go bad, go ball, go bankrupt, go blind, uh, go crazy, go dark, go deaf, go fishing, go mad, go missing, go on food, Go online, go out of business, go overseas, go fly or go sail. Okay, who wants to give me an example using those expressions? Just let me know, please. Teacher, what's mean abroad? Go abroad means that you go to another country. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody said, I would like to study abroad. Me gustaría estudiar en el extranjero. No matter the country, could be Guatemala, could be Spain, could be United States, could be Australia, different places. That is the meaning of the word go abroad. I, I, I have used it a lot. Yo he usado esa palabra muchas veces in the previous module too. Maybe, quizá no se había comprendido muy bien. Go abroad. If you, for example, if somebody have studied out of this country, you say, I studied, when I study abroad, cuando yo estudié en el extranjero, yeah, and you can continue. I used to go fishing, eh? and now I do it only just online. <laughs> Okay, tell me. I go crazy when I have much work, teacher. My goodness. <laughs> that is when we, you need to uh, laugh. When you got a lot of trouble, you need to laugh too. Okay, um, let me see what else we have, okay. Okay, take a look at this. How to use get and go according to our material. Uh, look at the word symbols and complete the sentences below. 
For example, how can I get to the trade center? I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. Okay, now we are going to read right here. Use get to ask for directions or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or arriva. Which one do you consider is the right one? I use get to ask for direction or to emphasize the idea of Motion or need to be or arriva. Which one do you consider is the right? Arrival. Arrival, teacher. Yes, because if you see, if you see the example here, how can I get to the train center? As soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office. That is the reason why. Okay, right here at the right side. So how to how do you go to work? I'm going to go to the conference center in order to check in. Okay, I go home around 7 p.m. Okay, use go. To a specific, to a specify, I'm sorry, to a specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or R. Which one is the correct? Which one? Hello. Hola. Letter hey. B, teacher. Letter, letter, letter B, or letter yes. A. Go motion from uh, motion from A to B or A river. A river, teacher. Mm, we already talked about A river at this side. Mm. Do you consider the both of them we can use it in Arvo? Get and go? <coughs> or this one we can use it uh when we move from A to B. Mm. Okay, take a look right here. Use go to specify the mean of transportation or emphasize the idea of motion from A to B. Okay, let me see the time that we have now. Okay, hold on a second. Let me move a little bit. Okay, take a look at this one. Get versus go. Go is equal to say the whole movement. Get the end of the movement. Do you got that message? Go, it is equal to the whole movement. And get the end of the movement. For example, I usually go by metro at 8 a.m. and usually get to my destination at 8 o'clock. Yesterday, I went to the Nobel Museum and had a great time. We got there at 17 hours. Okay, I don't know if you got the meaning of the uses uh, get and go. Yes or no? Let me know, please. Because we are so close to finish this class today. So let me know. Okay, this is number six. This is going to be the last one that we are going to resolve. Right here, said Pierre here was complete the statement with get or go. Sometimes both actions are possible. Check your answer with another pair. For example, number one said we are going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. What about number two, Alice, Sophie? How do you to work, Sophie, by car? Okay, you have to fill that. Number three, the trainer is going to 
to the production plan after the meeting. Number four, excuse me, how can I to the bus station? Number five, the bank is really near. You can buy food. And number six, I'm going to call you when I to the hotel. Okay, you are going to use just get or go. Okay, let us do it. And this is going to be the last activity that we are going to perform today. So I invite you to do it. And as soon as you finish, let me know, please. Um, If you can do it, just take kind of screenshot because I'm, I'm going to stop chatting. Questions? Questions? No questions? No teacher. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. And I need to check up also the attendance. But I need to wait a little bit in order that you finish this exercise and later on I'm going to check up the attendance. Okay, uh, como ya estamos casi al final de la clase, eh, todavía tengo algunas personas que no han terminado de completarme las actividades, señores. El día de mañana terminamos módulo. Esas actividades deben estar completas, uh, ya que mis notas van a ser entregadas el día siguiente a las 8 de la mañana más tardar. Uh, por esa razón le invito a que pueda resolver todas las actividades pendientes que tiene ahí en la plataforma, ya que eso de las notas es otra manera eh, de poder aprobar el módulo, así como la asistencia. Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, ¿El otro módulo cuándo iniciaría? Fíjese que de eso sí lo siento, pero no tengo información. Ah, ok. No sé si a, a ahorita creo que no les enviaron incluso la, la preinscripción. Creo que no les han enviado, sí. Sí, eh, a mi trabajo sí ya lo compartieron. Ah, Solamente okay. que no sé cuándo, cuándo se iniciaría el otro módulo. Sí, en mi caso no tengo ni la menor idea. No tengo la idea de cuándo será el próximo. Pero lo importante es que hay que estar atentos y seguir el ritmo, porque si usted se queda un módulo y dice, no, este no lo estudio, el siguiente sí, va a llegar a un momento que va a perder la motivación in interna que tiene, intrínseca que tiene, de aprender algo nuevo. Pero yo recalco y digo, eh, para que todo vaya mejor todavía, debemos de participar, ¿sí?, Eso es lo que nos va a ayudar, la participación. Pero si no lo hacemos, entonces ahí sí tenemos problemas. En this module, I've been trying to speak, uh, let me see, like uh, 95% only in English. The person that is going to be with you, I'm not pretty sure if I'm going to be. Uh, maybe it's going to use only yes in English the next one. It causes the level, you know. So uh, what you need to do is just to share your ear in order to understand exactly what he or she is going to tell you in English. And you need to participate. Don't forget that too. You have to do it that way. But the problem is that you don't want to speak. And that is a problem. And, and maybe you are sitting down in front of your computer and say, I know how to say that. But if you never practice, you are not going to develop your skill. And I've been trying to speak a little slow because I used to speak a little fast, but in this level, I have to do it that way in order that all of you can understand what I'm saying. So I've been trying to give you a hand, but maybe uh, sometime we try to do our best, but someone could say that it's not true, but all depend on uh, the time that you Try to practice. Vean, esto es un tanto complejo en el sentido que como facilitador he, he estado siempre disponible para que ustedes a uh, todos hagan sus prácticas necesarias. Pero posiblemente en el grupo aparezca alguien y diga de no, no nos dio la oportunidad, etcétera, etcétera. 
Eso es normal, eso no, 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 no está fuera de foco, pero eh, uno debe como de ir adaptándose, ¿no? Al momento que le corresponde. Y por eso es muy bueno eh, que cuando uno hace a veces cambio de nivel o módulo, de repente aparece otra persona, tiene otra metodología y usted se identifica con esa metodología y posiblemente usted dice, ah, este es mejor pero alguien puede ser que diga que no. Entonces, eh, cuando se planifica una clase, se hace en base a pensando en la mayoría, ¿cierto? Para que todo el mundo pueda participar, que todo el mundo pueda desarrollar sus habilidades. Ese es el, el main objective that we have right here in this uh, enterprise. But it's up to you, my friends. What I can do is just invite you to continue uh, practicing English. Because in the way that you practice, you are going to develop uh, your macro skills. So, time is over. I don't know if you finish. Uh, no sé si alguien logró terminar las oraciones. Si no, las vamos a checar el día de mañana. Pero tenía que decirles eso porque eh, yo necesito cuadrar notas. Entonces... Les invito a quienes aún no han terminado sus actividades, quienes no han hecho el midterm exam, por favor, tratemos de cumplirlo, por favor. Y mañana no me vayan a faltar, eh, porque tenemos que hacer la encuesta. La encuesta no la hace nadie antes, mientras el tutor no da las instrucciones necesarias. Ya hicimos varias, pero... De repente algún datito se nos puede eh, equivocar y Insafor, eh, ellos, a ellos no les gusta que hayan errores. Por eso nosotros, en, al momento que hacemos la encuesta, eh, compartimos un vídeo y al mismo tiempo vamos desarrollando cada uno de los ítems para que cada uno de ustedes vaya copiando y pegando y haciéndolo de la mejor manera posible para que no hayan errores y así al final, digamos, misión cumplida, listo para el siguiente módulo y aquí te voy. En Start Speaking in English. Bueno, yo hablé mucho, creo, en estos últimos minutos. No sé si alguien tiene algo que decir. No es que me haya emocionado, no. Tenía que decirles eso. Así es que, I'm sorry to speak a lot. Me dicen, por favor, que no comprendieron. Eh, en mi caso, teacher, creo que el tema de las direcciones fue algo que quizás me confundí. Oh, really? <risa> un, blo un bloqueo mental, teacher. My <risa> sí, no, por eso no, no participé, porque lo sentí difícil. Ok, ok, let me tell you this. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is just to relax. Take your risk. And then what you need to do is just to study the preposition that we need to know in exactly uh, in order to give addresses or directions. Sabiendo las preposiciones es más fácil. Go straight ahead for five blocks, for example, to your left on Main Street and then go to the corner and then to right for two blocks and you continue using all those uh, prepositions of places. Por eso es que ya vimos también las preposiciones. Posiblemente lo, lo que pasó fue lo siguiente. Lo que dijo Gabriela, que cuando ya se ve el mapa es más complicado. ¿Sí? Pero tranquilos, el día de mañana hacemos un review sobre eso. Y alisten, anoten las preguntas que tengan, que ahí las vamos a aclarar todas. Para que no queden dudas de este módulo para el siguiente, ¿ok? ¿Es that ok? Ok, teacher, gracias. Ok, perfecto. ¿Alguien más? ¿No? Bueno, vamos a pasar la lista rapidito porque nos emocionamos platicando. Como que se está amaneciendo, me dijeron. Entonces, bueno, aquí vamos. América. Are you there, America? No, Carlos Amilcar. Present. Okay, Cecilia Maribel. Present. Okay, Edwin. Okay, America, 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 está ahí. Okay, okay. Eh, 
Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Gisela. Okay, Hector. Present. Ingrid. Present. Okay, Jonathan. Present teacher in good time. Ernesto. Present teacher. Eh, Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Candy Natalie. Natalia, perdón, Natalia. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Mercedes Alejandra. Roxana de Jesús Álvarez. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara Alejandra. Present teacher. Sergio. Present teacher. Yamilet del Carmen. Yami. Y Yesenia Lisset Aguilera Cruz. Ok, no se les olvide, les van a enviar, eh, si es que no les han enviado ya el, el correo donde va la información del módulo, por favorcito, revíselo. Pero no me vaya a hacer la encuesta antes, por favor, necesitamos hacerla todos a la misma hora. Así que mañana el que puede estar en un eh, ordenador, en una computadora, será más fácil para copiar y pegar. Si no la hay, bueno, hágalo con su teléfono, usted es muy habilidoso. Con el cuidado de checar que todos los números vayan incluidos y que no se le quede ninguno, porque si no se va a referir a otra información. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope to see you tomorrow. It's going to be the last class for this module. Good night, take care, and see you. Tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 See you, see you, see you, see you.